guys in the last video we we'll, we have checked out on how you can install the Super Nexus custom ROM firmware in your Samsung Galaxy S2 smartphone and in this video we will be checking out on how you can install latest Omega ROM series on your Galaxy S2 so first up before proceeding you need to ensure that you have downloaded the zip file that is Omega version 15 in your computer and then you need to connect your smartphone to the computer with help of the USB cable and place the zip file in your device. Ensure that you are not placing the zip file deep into the subfolders or else you will face some issues in finding the same in the recovery mode. So now assuming that you have already moved in the zip file in your device, now all you should do is disconnect and just turn off the smartphone. Just take the option of power off. And as you can see that the device is now being powered off. So once you get a small vibration kind of thing, all you need to do is now enter the device in the recovery mode. But before you do this, ensure that your device is being rooted. And to ensure that the device is being rooted. So just try entering the device in the recovery mode. But unfortunately, the device has started in the normal mode. We just need to wait again. Also, ensure that your device is being rooted. To check whether your device is being rooted or not, all you need to do is just download the root checker application from the Google Play Store and check whether your device is being rooted or not. So now I am again turned off the device. Now press the volume up key and the menu button. And then just press the power button. So once you do so, the device will now be booted up. So this is a clockwork mode recovery screen, which are seeing it right now. Now all you need to do is just select the option of advanced and then wipe Dalby cache and insert the option of yes and then up next again go to the option of go back and then wipe data or factory reset navigate with the help of volume keys this volume keys and then press the power button to confirm the same so as you can see that the data is being formatted. So once it's done, again you need to select the option of file cache partition with the help of volume keys and the power button. So as you can see that it's now been wiping the data. So once it's done, now select the option of Install zip from SD card with the help of volume keys and power button. And then choose zip from internal SD card. Just in case if you have placed the zip file in your external SD card, you have to select the option of install zip from SD card. But then if you are not using the external SD card, then you have to select the option of internal SD card. So now after selection, you will get an array of files which are there in your phone. But from those, all to do is to select a file which have placed it that is uh, omega 1 let's so just find out where exactly that is So now you need to select the Omega ICS version 15 zip file which are placed in your device. Once it's done, select the option of yes with the help of volume keys and the power button. So once it's selected, you can see that the process of updating the zip file in your Samsung Galaxy S2 smartphone will commence. And if you could just see there's a tiny progress bar which is blue colored one as you can see out here 
which will indicate the progress of firmware installation. So now as you can see that it has wiped off the Dalby cache and also the cache partition and is now in the process of installing the Omega Custom ROM firmware. Omega uh, Custom ROM firmware comes in three different variants that's the uh, Omega 15 which is a stock firmware based on the XXLPX model and is on the base firmware of XWLPG but also apart from that it also comes with two other themed versions that is the black blue themed version and also on the one is the ice cream sandwich themed version the my personal favorite was the ice cream sandwich theme which suits best with this custom firmware and this and just works flawlessly it also comes with the touches launcher and also apex launcher as well as go launcher and nova launcher so that means all latest as well as the beautiful widgets and also all the device all the launchers are being there in this device in this firmware and also when you talk of keyboards it comes with swipe samsung keyboard and also the google keyboard the default one and it comes with an updated version of applications like google maps game hub Google Plus Play Store being updated to the latest 3.5.19 and also the Gmail application has been updated that is 4.0.5 version. So as you can see that the Omega logo is being flashed on the screen right now and it will stay on the screen for a minute or two so that all the system files are being installed in this file. It also comes with the Google Play Music of version 4.1 which is a part of standard removable apps and it can be removed apart from that it also comes with other add-on applications like barcode scanner, compass, convert pad, faster fix and also google translate the best part of this application is this firmware almost looks similar to that of the ice cream sandwich which is a default released by Google. So as you can see that it's taking more than a minute for applying the update. Just ensure that your device is not being vibrated or being turned off in the process of applying this update because this logo will be there for a minute or two as it will be applying all the system files and also updating the APKs of the device. So this is the one Omega custom ROM firmware which is seeing it right now on your screen. So it took over 5 to 10 minutes for showing up the screen. So you need to keep up the patience till that time. So this is the one. It's a Google account which you can skip as of now. tap on finish so as we have mentioned that there, there are total in all four launchers one is the stock launcher the apex launcher nova launcher and the tw launcher so as of now we'll select the tw launcher with the, with the default launcher so as you can see this there's is a ics themed version As you can see that there are various other options which are being given in this. So there is a contacts option, there is a messaging option which is there. All the options are pretty much fine tuned and also there are no force close errors as of now. As Jenny, some of the firmwares give the force close error which is which was not the ca case with this one. So this is a convert pad application which we were talking of the additional applications with which you can solve all your database based or geometry based queries so there's a convert pad application and apart from that this also comes with other applications like no LED settings which will help which will help you in notifying the messages or the missed calls which you are getting on your phone so you can you have an option of switch off or switch on the no LED section. So as you can see that pocket 
is an another unique application which comes with this app as it backs up all the secure documents secure documents with the dropbox there's a your user access first up when you're starting up the application of super user it will ask you for updating the binary updates so ensure that binary updates are the latest ones because always it will not allow you to get your device in the recovery mode so last but not the least let's check out the firmware version so that's why let's check whether the firmware has been updated successfully or not just tap on settings and then about phone so in total there will be 115 applications in this phone so this is the one so this is the build number which you are seeing it right now that's the omega ICS version 15 which is based on the XWLPG firmware version so that's it from us stay tuned to our channel for more videos